professional soccer in Cincinnati is about to get kicked up a notch. Tomorrow morning, the Lindner family will announce that they are bringing a United Soccer League franchise to the Tri-State. FC Cincinnati will join the league in the spring and play its games at UC's Nippert Stadium. And that's where Local 12's Joe Webb joins us live with all the details. Hi, Joe. Hey, Cammie, you know, the announcement isn't until tomorrow, but the interest in FC Cincinnati is already building. Soccer fans are anxious to see how they play when they take the field here at Dippert Stadium and what the team might do to build the game of soccer in the region. The new ribbon board at Nippert Stadium touts it as the home of Bearcats football for a century. Next year, another brand of football takes to the Nippert pitch. FC Cincinnati will kick its way onto the Cincinnati sports scene with a Wednesday announcement. Tuesday, word was already spreading among the amateur soccer players and coaches at UC. I'm really excited about it. I mean, I'm from just outside Toronto, so I've seen Toronto FC play a lot. So it'll be, it'll be cool to have something right here that I can watch. To have a professional team uh, with this professionalism and backing, uh, financially and everything, it, it, it just has unbelievable opportunity to the city, to the youth. The promotional trailer released by the team today says former national team star John Harks will be FC Cincinnati's head coach. The kit is blue and orange. The logo sports what looks like a griffin. Carl Lindner III is the principal owner. Former Cincinnati City Councilman Jeff Birding is leaving his job with the Bengals to be the club's president and GM. Soccer enthusiasts are certain there will be a spillover effect from FC Cincinnati. Coach Stafford hopes it improves the local game. You're going to have a high level of coaching, um, and, and the, the, that will have a great impact on the community so that they're in front of good soccer. It's definitely inspirational. It's also like watching what they do, like how they play, all that stuff, that all helps you like your own game. It's going to make unbelievable opportunities, and I know that along with this is going to come the opportunity of national teams playing here. So if our players can get to observe a national team training session or watch a national team game uh, right on their college campus, uh, that's got to be attractive to future recruits. Now, the USL is the third tier of American professional soccer behind Major League Soccer and the North American Soccer League. It is a cut above the league that the Cincinnati Saints currently play in. And the Saints made it clear today they are here to stay. Cami, they unveiled a new logo today. So they're not going anywhere. New team announcement tomorrow. And you, of all people, know the significance and the importance of professional sports in Cincinnati. Yeah, it's huge. And Joe, FC Cincinnati, what does FC stand for? Football club. Oh, duh. Okay. Excited for all this. Thank you, Joe. Now, the closest USL teams are in Louisville and Pittsburgh. The league mandated that all teams play in soccer-specific stadiums by 2020. That's an issue which will likely come up at tomorrow's news conference.